In this tutorial we're going to look a little more at the layer panel over on the right here. So let's go ahead and just create some objects. I'll just go to solid box and make a corner box. Let's just make a few of these here. Okay, so the layer menu is really nice. Um, it's a good way to organize objects and, uh, and um, allow you to turn on and off certain sets of objects. So to move an object, right now I just created all of these on the default layer. Um, you'll see that this check mark um, corresponds to the active layer. So everything I draw right now will be on that default layer. If I want to change which layer I'm drawing on, I can click um, next to that layer. So for example, if I create another box, um, on layer 3 here, uh, it will be a different color and that cor color will correspond to the color next to the layer. Um, I can always change these colors, so if I select that color, I can choose from these default colors or I can actually just pick um, any color on the color wheel here. And it will update the color of that object um, that corresponds with the layer. Um, I can also change layer name, so if I click on a layer name, I can change this to, let's say, green boxes. I can then um, select another box and I can right click on that layer and say uh, change object layer and it will move that object onto the layer that's currently selected. You can, if you hold down control, um, or sorry, alt or shift, if you hold down shift you can select multiple objects. If you hold down um, then select control and left click you can actually deselect objects. So I'm going to select these two objects and I'm going to right click on layer 2 and I'm going to say change object layer. You can also copy objects to a layer. So if I want to keep this on the default layer but copy it onto layer 1, I can right click on layer 1 and say copy object to layer. I now have an object uh, that's a box on the default layer and a copy of that on layer 1. Um, you can always turn off and on layers. So if I click this light bulb next to a layer, I can turn them off. Um, and I can turn off every layer except the green boxes layer, for example. Or I can um, lock objects. So if I, I keep this green boxes layer on, but I lock that layer, I can no longer select these objects. I can only select the objects that are on the unlocked layer. Um, a few other things you can do besides changing the names of layers, you can also reorder them. So if I want to move a green box layer down, I can just select that down arrow or I can move it up. Um, you can also change material, which we'll talk about later, or even line types. If you're working with you know, um, 2D line work, you can actually make these lines be dashed or um, center lines or different kinds of lines, and also the print width and color you can change over here on the right. Uh, finally, the last thing you can do is make sublayers. So right now these are um, all the um, top layers, but if I click this button here, it'll make a sublayer. And so one thing I could do is have like building one and then under building one have doors, windows, you know, different kind of um, layers that all fit within that. And the nice thing about that having sub layers is that you can turn off the top layer and it'll turn off all the layers beneath it. Um, and that works for sub layers as well.